wait, do you hear that? That buzzing sound? I wonder what it is. <laughs> oh, it's our friend. The bundle fly. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, bundle fly. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, I wanted to show off. We did make a little update to uh, the bundle fly thanks to uh, Justin Catney, who worked on it and been debugging it. Please, folks, try out the bundle fly feature that we have on Learn. I'll show you how to do it right now. Um, it should make it a lot easier to do Circuit Python projects because you get help from bundle fly. So let's let's go to the computer. And um, let's let's look actually at a project that just came out. So oh, don't forget we have this new cool random this dice. You roll the dice and you get a random guide, which is super fun. But I'm, I want a particular guide. Um, let's look at the lemon keypad. Um, so the lemon keypad uh, is a project that uses Circuit Python and an RP twenty forty Cutie Pie uh, to put six mechanical keypads in this cute three D printed lemon. So um, we have a we have a page that says like how to load Circuit Python onto your uh, RP twenty forty, which is cool. And then in the code, um, what we're doing now is we're putting code like usually we had kind of like the code explanation and then the code itself like the full listing at the bottom. Um, but now we have the code at the top and we're highlighting the word download project bundle. So when you click it, um, you'll automatically get a zip file. And the zip file is the name of the project. And we now include a readme. Um, and the readme, the Katni wrote this up, and this is, uh, it's kind of templated a little bit. The beginning is kind of an explanation of what to do with it. And then it also includes the date and the URL that generated this. Uh, this is XEMAX, so I can't zoom in. But um, if you can kind of look carefully, you can see the, the URL and the, the date. So that's new. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go and um, we also have this um, new thing that we're going to add. I'll show you as a preview. So in addition, um, because some people don't realize, like, you know, you actually have to have, like, the files in, in, like, in the root directory and people sometimes don't realize that. So we wanted to include um, an image of what the file system looks like. So we have an issue uh, for an auto screenshot maker. And this is from Foamy Guy, um, who's been working on this. And this is really neat. This is something that it's written in Python and what it does is it looks at the code. Hold on, let me see. Uh, oh, I think this went into, oh, I think it was removed, which is cool. The generated image. Okay, sorry, it was deleted. But um, the, the goal is that it will be able to create the, automatically create the screenshot images that we have in our guides. I was, I was tricked because it was, I think it was deleted. But if you look here, we have like this image that shows like the Mac file system, like with the, the, the folders opened, like the little, you know, whatever triangle opener. And um, we want to auto generate these, which we can do because if we're making the bundle, we know all the imports, we know the library with the files and the zip. So let's, let's make a screenshot that automatically generates because in Windows, it's actually kind of hard to make these nice screenshots like Mac Finder does a very good job of showing you um, directories and subdirectories, but Windows like kind of doesn't have that ability. And so um, we're going to add the auto screenshot maker as well. So people can see a screenshot of like, here's your circuit pie drive and here's the files that go into it. So um, it should make circuit Python even easier. Like it, I think it's, it's really improved by having the bundler because especially for projects with the fun house, we've done a couple projects with like the fun house and the mag tag. There's like easily 10, 15 libraries, and it's like a real pain to dig them all out. Um, if you use the project bundle, you'll always get the latest code, which is super cool. So uh, that's the latest from Bundlefly, our project bundler helper. Thanks, little dude. Notice he's got the little pie files. He's, he's holding together. <laughs> 